Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on Filipino. Now, we have neglected Filipino for a long time. The reason is because most of us already speak in Filipino or Tagalog. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video now is because I get a lot of requests na sa mga taong nagugulhan dito sa mga words na ito. So we have dito rito, rindin, and all of those words. We're going to talk about those right now. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you better. But if you have people then na magtitake ng exam, hindi lang sa civil service, but uh, OPCAT, LAE, uh, LET, or anything like that, including mga college admissions test, dahil review season din nun, you can go and share this video with them. Okay? So I'll see you in a bit. Let's talk about Dean versus Reen, Dito versus Rito, Dao versus Rao, Doan versus Roan. Generally, all the rules are the same. Uh, ang kailangan nyo ng tandaan kung ano yung gagamitan ng D at ano yung gagamitan ng R. Okay? Now, ang rules natin go like this. Gagamitin mo ang Reen, Rito, Rao, at Roan. Yung mga may R, you will use that for words. Okay? Na ang, kung ang sinusundan nila ay natatapos sa either patinig or vowel. So, you have A-E-I-O-U. And uh, a good example of that would be the sentence. So, pumunta ka blank. Again, the rule follows kung ano yung preceding word or sinusundan na salita. So, dahil ang sinusundan is ka, which ends with an A, at dahil siya ay vowel or patinig, this becomes rito. Okay? Pumunta ka rito. Come here. Okay? So, again, ang um, determining factor is yung letter preceding the word. Kung ang, ang sinusundan na salita ends with a vowel, it becomes R. Okay, pumunta ka rito. Parin uh, and uh, raw, R, anything that starts with an R, dapat it precedes a vowel. The other exception is, pag merong malapatinig or semi-vowel na tinatawag, this is just, uh, ano ba to? Intricacy to ng Filipino language. Now, when it ends with a W or a Y, it's counted as a semi-vowel, which means the rule also applies. So, when it ends with a W, yung sinusundan na, na word, pag natatapos sa W, it also becomes R. So, matagal ka nang di dumadalaw rito. You can't say dumadalaw dito. Since ang W counts as that, it starts with an R din. Okay? So, again, ang kailangan ng tandaan, kung vowel or semi-vowel, you have the A, E, I, O, E. U or W or Y, it becomes R. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman ang pagkakaiba naman sa D? Okay? Pag D, which is yung din dito da, doon, you will use it kung ang sinusund ng salita ay nagtatapos sa either a katinig or consonant. So, you have all of your katinigs, you have all of the consonants B, C, D, uh, although wala tayong C sa Filipino language, so K. Uh, all the letters that start that end with a consonant, kung yun ang sinusundan niya, it becomes letter D. So for example, this sentence, malapad, blank, ang tulay na ito. Okay? So, pag sinabing malapad, blank, ang tulay na ito, kunyari, daw, so it becomes malapad, daw. Bakit? Kasi ang preceding word or sinusundan ng salita ends with a D. At yung D ay isang consonant. Katinig yung D. So, this becomes daw. Okay? So, again, uh, you use R if ang sinusundan is a vowel. You use D kung ang sinusundan is a consonant. Okay? Ngayon, there is another exception doon, which is ito. If, it, if the word na sinusundan niya ends with a ra, re, ri, ro, ru, rao, or rai, okay, you should also use din. Okay? For example, ito. Ang balita ko ay may tama rao. Ngayon, ang, uh, if if you think of yung rule natin ng una, which says na pag vowel or it ends with a W, uh, the answer should be R. Okay? In this case, because it ends with a, uh, itong syllable na raw, that doesn't apply. Okay? Yung example natin kanina, yan, di ba? Dumadalaw. Dahil hindi ito R, the answer is rito. Pero in this example, dahil ang sinusundan niyang word is tama raw, ang syllable starts with an R, raw, this becomes dito. Ang balita ko ay may tama raw dito. Okay? Or din. O kaya daw. 
Okay? Ngayon, um, dahil meron susundan na word, I would suggest na instead of dito, we use uh, din. Okay? So, gubahin lang natin muna yon. Okay. Kasi may blank pa siya eh. Of course, you wouldn't have this problem kung nasa exam kasi may options naman, no? So, ang balita ko may tama raw. Daw. Okay. Ngayon, bakit ang rule na ito, why, why is it here? The reason for that is this, pangit kasi pakinggan yung may tama raw raw. Diba? Kasi umulit. Okay. Pangit din yung uh, para rito. Okay. Pero yung parati rito, pwede. Kasi iniiwasan natin yung may mangyari yung rara or rara or in this case uh, rau rau kaya pag bra rari roru or rau rai the best answer becomes d dao okay so dito may black pang isa so ang balita ko may tama raw dao and then since this ends with a w okay which is a consonant this becomes your dito uh, this becomes rito okay Kasi it ends with a W. And ang rule natin is when it ends with a vowel or W or Y, it becomes R. So, the, uh, nakita ninyo yung pagkakaiba. Ito. Rao, Dao, Rito. So, this is R. This becomes D. And then this becomes R. Kasi pangit din yung Dao dito. Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng magkasunod na D. Okay. So, dahil daw, dito, hindi siya dito, dapat maging dito siya. Kasi ang meter or yung feeling ng language natin ng Filipino, dapat meron siyang, in, may alternate siya. So, pag simula ka sa raw, susundan mo siya ng daw, susundan mo siya ng rito. Hindi pwedeng may umuulit na salita kasi pa, funny na siya pakinggan. Okay. So, again, ang determining factor mo is kung vowel siya, or it ends with a W or Y, it becomes Rito. Unless, yung huling syllable niya starts with an R. In this case, yung tama raw. Pag raw, ra re ri ro ru, it becomes D. Kasi, alternator, kabaliktad siya. Ngayon, uh, paano ko ito madaling matatandaan? Okay? I'd admit na, ah, kahit ako, naguguluhan ako dito. So, ang, ang advice ko would be for you to remember these three sentences. Okay? Or three phrases. Yung first is, yung kanta, di ba? Sabi, tuloy pa rin ako. So, the word na pa rin, okay, which is some uh, learning opportunity rin to, when you write pa rin, hindi siya one word. Okay? Kasi iba ginagawa na yan eh. Mahal pa rin kita, naman ganun. Uh, one word lang. Hindi siya pwedeng ganyan ha. Dapat may space. Okay? May space between pa and rin. Ngayon, bakit mo yung tatandaan yung pa rin? Kasi yung a is a vowel. Again, pag vowel na tatapos, rin or rito, or on, or raw ang kasunod. Okay? Another sentence you could remember quickly is ito yung maaari bang bumaba ito. Bakit? Kasi, ba, okay, is, it turns into an R. Okay? Pero pag para dito, mama, para dito, it becomes dito kasi yung ra starts with an R. Nagiging dito siya. So, bababa ka rito, pero Pumara dito. Okay? So, if you remember at least these three sentences, mas madali na sa inyo to sort out anything na lalabas sa exam. Okay? Uh, again, the key here is practice. So, when you encounter words, kahit sa mga nagsasalita, isipin ninyo kung tama yung pagkakagamit nila. Okay? Okay, so I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends if you know anyone who's taking an exam also. And subscribe to this channel para malaman nyo as soon as yung new video posts. There are more coming up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you hit the bell para manotify kayo, kayo as soon as a new video posts. I'll see you on my next video, guys. God bless. Adya, adya, kaya niyan. And see you soon.